Well, I'm just now uh, preparing my engine for the uh, the day's uh, running. Uh, it's a beautiful day. I don't think we could have picked a better day. I'm just about to get to uh, get some uh, charcoal into the firebox or some bits of wood to get to uh, steam up. The blower's on the uh, top of the chimney, ready to be uh, connected. It's uh, an experimental blower, is this? It's one I've made up from bits and bats and uh, and a small uh, motor. The one I had previously was an old car windscreen washer motor, and it just didn't seem to draw. So I found this little uh, 18 volt, and um, it seems to be uh, the bee's knees. So hopefully he. Uh, uh, it'll work. Well, after a bit of experimentation, I managed to get the, the fan blade angle just right, and it, it really does suck now. And I've got my pal Bob here to do a bit of oiling round. Uh, Bob, uh, incidentally, is uh, the chap that owns the Waverley, which I featured in uh, a previous video of the film up here at North. Uh, he built two of these engines, uh, the Finnish one, um, which is a uh, run. And the other ones uh, awaiting completion. I'm just having a wander over to uh, one of our members with his an amazing logo. I meant to ask him what um, what, what it's based on. It's uh, it's a beautiful engine, Bell yeah, Pair Firebox. Uh, this uh, it's, this um, member of ours, he, uh, yeah, he actually lives uh, in the Lake District. He, uh, he travels down to our track on our running days and uh, take part in the uh, in the other day's run. Interesting locomotive. Well, it's looking uh, good. Is the weather? Um, it's going to be a beautiful day by the look of things and uh, I'm looking forward to a, a good run. Well there we are up at, uh, at Northcliff Woods, just getting my engine uh, ready, steaming up, got the blower on. Got quite a few uh, engines running today and it's, uh, it's an amazing fine day. It's beautiful up in these woods and uh, there's lots and lots of people uh, walking through here. Uh, it's an ama amazing uh, track site is this. If you like wildlife, walking, there's, there's a, a nice valley to walk up. And there's uh, plenty of uh, wildlife to see, fauna, flora, amazing. Here's a view of our uh, turntable in the steaming bays. All my uh, new blowers working uh, a treat, thank goodness. Certainly getting the, uh, the fire going. Oh, I don't like to force uh, steam raising on a steel boiler, um, it needs to take its time, but uh, this is just about right, going okay. Water level is uh, steady there with the boiler water treatment in. Yeah, clock pressure gauge is just starting to come off the pin now. My uh, new blower is working at three. I've got steam now, uh, the blower will be coming off at any, uh, any moment. I think I've got um, a slightly sticking whistle valve there by the, uh, the look of it. This uh, this blower is really uh, turning out to be uh, pretty good. And there we are. What have we got? Yeah, time for the blower to go on and the uh, powered blower to come off. 
And I've got Bob here firing uh, for me. Now Bob built two five inch gauge uh, Martin Evans design uh, Waverley uh, locos. He's finished one and we've run it up at Northcliffe which uh, I've shown on a, a previous video and the other loco is part finished and just need the uh, the boiler and then uh, that will be finished and Bob's saying that his present engine is uh, due for another run up here he's also built uh, the Martin Evans design uh, B1 Springbok There in the background is a view of our clubhouse where the lower race tracks are situated. On running days, you can now um, get um, tea and coffee uh, and a sandwich uh, at the uh, clubhouse. That do it. And you can sit outside on the veranda and enjoy the, uh, the running of the uh, race track. I think, uh, I think the engine is just about to uh, blow off. Now the safety valves I'm using are the Holmes type of pop safety valves. Right, I'm just checking it now around the track for um, the test run, make sure everything's okay before we start to run the passengers. Well, I'm just making now um, a circuit of the track, just taking it easy and making sure that everything's okay with the loco. I shall just go up um, to the cutting and back to the station and that, uh, that should do. I think I need also to get my uh, base uh, wiped, it's, it's uh, absolutely covered in, uh, in soot, I don't know how I've got like this because I've, I've been out on the loco. Everything up to press seems okay and the engine sounds uh, alright. Nothing uh, on, uh, on tow. Whilst I was uh, doing a test run, I gave the camera to Bob and let him do a bit of filming down this bottom end. And there we see one of our members, Tony, with his uh, Hunsley. And then in the background, you can see the uh, clubhouse and the, the race track. 
uh, one of our members in the uh, in a blue shirt is talking to our track superintendent on his left, uh, Russ. Some of our uh, riding trucks now being attached to one of the other locals. There's a general view of uh, the woods there and the field. Uh, quiet at the moment, but boy, did it get busy later on. Just now moving up to the uh, station to pick up the first passengers. Well, this young lady approaching on this low code, I don't think I've ever got off this engine all day long. <laughs> totally enjoying herself. It's nice to see the uh, young people taking part in these events, helping out, like this young man here, uh, filling my water tanks, and one of the other young uh, fellas was on the uh, on the track uh, control. It, it's it's nice to see uh, see this, and it, we need to encourage young people to uh, take up this hobby. Now just waiting for the uh, for the all clear for the whistle, and I keep hearing the uh, the coins going into our donation box. Now rides are all free you put now, but there's no charge. But you do have a donation box, and if anybody feels like they want to put some money in uh, the candle, but there is no charge for uh, rides. And we find most people walking through this uh, park uh, very very generous. Still waiting for the off, as you can see the uh, the track's very busy. There we see one of our young members uh, making his way across with another hose, water hose. Oh, I have to get the injectors back on again to keep the engine quiet. Last we're off. It sounds like I've got a slightly leaking whistle valve. You know, when you see the smile on people's faces, everybody enjoying themselves. This is this is what makes it worthwhile. This hobby. Now the engines uh, start to work on this uh, short section. This uh, gradient here, not very steep, but uh, uh, enough.
and now we're on a, a gradient falling down to the station and just approach with a little bit of care pass through on the middle track uh, signal at green there even the all clear just pass through now and do one more circuit and that, that completes the two uh, circuit rides which we give it's starting to get, to get very busy now quite a few uh, people queuing Here I am again with the new set of the happy passengers enjoying themselves at another uh, circuit. I'm just having a short break now and Russ has taken over my little overlap but I walk up to the uh, top of the uh, line where the, uh, the cutting is the train waiting here for passengers must be some kind of a, an event going off over here I think it's a birthday party bit look of it uh, nice setting for the birthday party without a doubt people queuing there for, uh, for rides Nice, uh, it's a nice walk up the uh, small valley at uh, Northwick Woods. Okay. <coughs> Here's Russell approaching on my uh, loco with uh, some passengers. inch wider and at least two foot longer. Oh, right. So, I'll stick it one I've got. Yeah. Right. Well, it's been a very busy afternoon and there's still lots of people there uh, waiting for rides. Well, I hope you found this uh, video of interest and once again, thank you for watching. Yeah.